Hi, everybody. Hi. 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 Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello, Olivia. Hello, Carolina. Jonathan. Shawana. Hello. Hello. I can see Leo here, Maritza. Okay. So we have like seven people, and I think it's enough to start with the, the with the first activity we usually start with. Okay, so and the famous question, what's new in English? <laughs> okay, Lydia, what's new in English? What's new in English? Lydia Jamilet. Uh, are you Isaac? You have a sore throat? Oh. I'm sorry, teacher. Repeat, please. Yeah, what's new in English? What What did you learn today? Uh, 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 I... Ay, perdón, 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 pero... Tal vez quizás... Una, una canción que he estado oyendo últimamente, <ríe> quizás las Christmas, mm -hmm. es lo yeah. que he logrado aprender. <ríe> uh, vocabulary about it, Ligia, what's the vocabulary you studied? Mm. The vocabulary... Uh... Uh, no, no, no. Ay, no se me ocurre ahorita nada. Okay, me ganan to, los nervios. Try to remember because I will get back. I will get back. For sure, I will do it. Okay, it's, all, it's okay, Ligia. Now, Carolina, good evening. Good evening. And take, take your passion. And I heard the music. I have, I have music. the music. Uh -huh. I can have it all. Okay. Yeah. Well, I know that it, you have been practicing all. the conversation also, right? Because tonight we are in church of working in a conversation. But anyways, I will always ask you about what's new in English. Jonathan, good evening. Hello, everybody. This day I have learned some sentences we, we give a uh, get. For, ex, for example, these are sentences with the verb to verb to give. Number one, I give it. In Spanish, lo doy. And number two, I give nothing. No da nada. <laughs> and number three, they give it. Ellos lo dan. I also I I I also example um sentence with the verb to get. Number one, you got you you get it to me. Tú me lo diste. Number two, you get you get love. Ella dio amor. Mm -hmm. Number three, you get a gift. Usted dio un regalo. Thank you. Okay, but actually, Jonathan, the pronunciation of the, the verse gave, of if, if the gave is in the past, give is in the present. It's correct, it's correct. Yeah, it, that's right. So, thank you very much. Hey, I can notice that you have been practicing a lot of vocabulary. Joanna Stephanie, thank you, Jonathan. Joanna, what's new in English? Good evening, X, it's a bear, a bear in a very unusual um, example. He has offered to show us how people can be happy extraordinarily. Okay. Okay, do me the favor to include that the vocabulary, Joanna, in the chat. Same to Jonathan and same to Carolina. Remember to share the information in the chat so that everybody can see the vocabulary you've been practicing lately. 
Liliana, good evening. What's new in English? Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello. Uh, give me a second. I I learned the word and um, called called out. Call out. That the meaning is llamar or gritar, but it depends in the context that you say. For example, I'm here to call out the name of my sister. The meaning is gritar. But if I say, uh, example, if you need me, just call me. The mm -hmm. meaning is llamar. If you need me, you, you, you can call me. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much, Liliana. Jennifer, good evening. What's new in English? Good evening. Um, I learned uh, Russian. Um, matter. And the expression, no matter what, uh, pase lo que pase, no matter, uh, sin importar, it doesn't matter, no importa, and as has a matter of fact, the mm hecho. -hmm. All right, as a matter of fact, it doesn't matter, no matter, wow. Okay, quite good, thank you very much. Do me the favor to include the information in the chat. Jennifer, I will appreciate it. Now, Carolina already shared the information and also Joanna. Marcela, well, Marcela says she's going to be over here as a listener. All right. So let me see. Uh, Magdalena, go ahead. Hello, Magdalena. Do me the favor to activate your microphone. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Eh, la mía es the happiness, the happiness of your life depends on the worry of your thoughts. Okay, okay, Magdalena, included in the chat, Let Ligia. Thank you, Magdalena. Ligia, now I think you're ready, right? I'm sorry, teacher. Um, lo voy a decir en español, pero es que como estoy ahorita en el trabajo, puedo que me agarre un poquito a quemar ropa, pero sí tengo que reconocer de que eh, me ha tocado por el trabajo leer un poquito de, 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 de cosas, de bibliografía, y leí un artículo en inglés. Más o menos lo pude, pero digamos en lo de que es a vocabulario, lo que anexé como de, apre de aprender el día de hoy, fue la palabra childhood. Uh, uh, for example, childhood sexual abuse is a common problem. Por el tipo de trabajo que desempeño, me toca, o sea, leer mucho sobre bibliografía de abuso sexual y me ha tocado este día de ahora leer de ese tema. Entonces, la palabra que aprendí es childhood, que es infancia y como le dije, el ejemplo. Thank you very much, Ligia. The word uh, is childhood. Childhood. Yeah, ah, that's okay. right. Okay, Ligia, but that's quite childhood. good. Thank you very much. Now, we, let me see. Yeah, because of the time, I need to listen to some volunteers. Volunteers. Do I have volunteers in the group? Volunteers. Yo. Okay. Chrissy, go ahead. And yeah. after Chrissy, cutting. Okay. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Bueno. Uh, uh, learning the next word is feel and thought. Feel and felt, pasado y presente, is meaning sentir, experimentar. Uh, uh, for example, uh, how are you feeling? Is meaning, ¿qué tal te encuentras? Uh, for example, my eyes feel really something. Is meaning, me duele mucho los ojos. Uh, um, other example, never in her life, how she felt? Feel that so happy. 
Miss Minning jamás en la vida se había sentido tan feliz. Wow, lot of information there. Thank you very much, Chrissy. I really like the way you are just learning English. Sara Abigail, good evening. Hello, Sara. Hello, hello. Activate your microphone. Good evening, Cotillana. Yo lo activé. Ah, ok. Sí, ¿Me escucha? Ok. Sí. Ok. Eh, escuché. Eh, aprendí algunas palabras cotidianas. Por ejemplo, catch you later, que significa te veo luego o nos vemos luego. You sweet it, que es no te preocupes. También I am away, que significa estoy en camino. Um, I can't tell, que me doy cuenta. Y finger crossing, eh, crucemos los dedos. That's it. Ok, thank you. Sara, do me the favor to include the information in the chat, please, so everybody can see what you've learned lately. Okay, so I think we it's time to start with the class. Okay, we're gonna start with the class. We're gonna see something that I have here as an example for you to take it into consideration in the activity. You need to uh, you need to practice tonight. Okay. Let's see. Well, yesterday. Yesterday we were talking about rising intonation, falling intonation. We saw some exercises and then we talked about present continuous and double H question words, etc. We worked in the in the knowledge check activities and uh, well actually I think this info is the one that we haven't started yet, right? I I tried to um share the conversation only but over here we're going to see the full video okay so keep our pay special attention give me a second No, I think it's better, right? You're gonna be able to see the video. Let's eat. Now, let's... I don't know what's happening with uh, the video. Uh, good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, good evening, Roxana. Uh, I'm sorry, my apologies for uh, uh, llegar tarde because uh, today is my last night in Houston. I went to dinner. We we went to house. I we we have ex accident. Oh, I'm sorry to uh, but, know about but, it. Uh, so nice. But uh, my friend and me, uh, we are very good. Only material damage. Oh, I'm sorry to know, uh, um, to know about it. Okay, um, but, but I am here. Yeah, unfortunately, anybody got uh, damaged, right? Only, I think it was only about the car. Okay, so, but fortunately, uh, you are over here now. Now, well, uh, Roxana, you but, know, uh, we are trying to have some review about... I don't know, you want... Do you listen to me? Okay. Well, hope you can listen to me. Can you listen to me, people? No, no, no listen. No, you don't. Speech yes. and record. Okay. Yes. 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 I listen. Yes. Well, we're gonna try to see the video, okay? I listen. Uh, 
We're gonna try to see the video. I don't know. Let's eat. Now, let's press and continues W A. Okay. Continues questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word, what? Then we have the verb to be is after that we have the subject Victoria after that we have the uh, verb in its ing form and then we have a question mark then of course you can see the question being answered she's sleeping now now we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's... So I'm... The last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone, in this class So as you can notice over here, we have like some review about what we started yesterday and we have an exercise that i want uh, i want to share with you and it's all here Pressing continues it's fine Yeah, so we're gonna try to see the picture. Yeah, we can see it now, right? So 
we have information about Victoria, Marcos, Sue, and Tom, Celia, James, and Anne, and Andre, right? So, but listen, what what time is it in LA? It's 4 a.m. It's 4 a.m. A.m. That's a question about Victoria. So, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Now, um, what's Marcos wearing? Marcos. So, we're going to see Marcos. He... He's, he's, he's wearing, wearing pajamas. So he's wearing pajamas. He's wearing pajamas. He's wearing pajamas. Who's having breakfast? Who is having breakfast? Sue. Sue and Anne. Sue and Anne. Or James and Anne. Sue and Tom. Sue and Tom are having breakfast. And Tom are having breakfast. Sue and Tom. So, I don't know. So, and uh, Tom, you said, right? Okay. What's Celia wearing? Celia. She's wearing a suit. She's wearing a dress. She's wearing a red suit. She's wearing, wearing a dress. She's, She's wearing, wearing a dress. Uh -huh. Number wearing... five. She's wearing no. a dress. Huh? In her suit. That's a suit. Suit. She's, She's wearing a suit. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Why are James and Nan having lunch? Uh, Why? Yes. What is the reason? Uh, because yeah. it's noon. Because it's noon. Yes. James and Ann are, are, are have lunch because it's noon. James and Ann having lunch because it's noon. James and Ann are having lunch because it's noon. Are having lunch because it's noon. The third one, right? Where's Andre working? He is working in Spain, Moscow, or London? Moscow. He's working Moscow. in Moscow. Moscow. He's Moscow. working in Moscow. What time is it there? 3 p.m. It's 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Okay. 3 p.m. Now, well, we're gonna start with the activity I assigned yesterday about about the conversation. Uh, but before going to that part, we're gonna listen to this this uh, conversation I got in the in the web. There is a conversation between between two people. We're gonna see the transcript. It's between Olivia and Olfi. So we're gonna play it. You are gonna listen to it and identify the double H questions we have in the test. I mean, in the conversation. I'm sorry, here, here we go. Listen. Hey Alfie, what are you doing? I'm studying for tomorrow's exam. You? Yeah, me too. Well, I'm just uploading some photos to Facebook and I'm sending a message to Billy. Oh, and I'm downloading the new Arcade Fire album. Oh yeah, and I'm having a coffee too. It's tiring all this studying. Oh, and at eight, I'm meeting Lucas, just for a quick coffee. It's important to take regular breaks, you know. So you're not really studying at all, are you? Come on, mate. 
If you don't pass the exam, you'll have to take it again after the holidays. You sound like my mum, Alfie. Talk of the devil. She's calling me. I'll phone you later, OK? Sure. Hi, Mum. Hello, love. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm studying, Mum. I've got a big exam tomorrow. What about you? Oh, Ollie, I just had to phone you. I'm riding a camel at the pyramids. Cool. I'm with a tour group. We're having a great time. We're all riding camels and the sun's shining. Oh, it's fantastic, Ollie. Lucky you. So, are you working hard for the exam? I'm trying to, Mum. What's Daisy doing now? Is she at home? No, she's at tennis practice. Oh, of course she is. <clears throat> OK, I've got to go. They're waiting for me to get off the phone. Bye, love. Bye, Mum. <laughs> OK, thank you very much. Now listen, listen, people. This is this is like the the conversation. Okay, a conversation I have. If you want, I I can share the link so that you can like work in the activities in this web page uh, that which I con I consider they are they are quite good. Okay, there you are in the chat. Now we're gonna start working in our homework. Vamos a dedicarnos a trabajar en la tarea, ¿ok? Recuérdense que eh, debe, debían tener siempre o deben tener este, una conversación y nada más se van a poner de acuerdo en cuál conversación van a, a practicar, se la van a asegurar pronunciation y ya luego pues regresamos, ¿ok? So, uh, I think we're going to have eight groups we're going to work in groups. We're going to have eight groups. So do me the favor to do your best, okay? And remember that we're going to spend like five, 10, like 15 minutes uh, practicing such conversation. Whenever we get back, I uh, want to notice about pronunciation, intonation, okay? And um, influencing. Now, we're going to work. Teacher. Hello, hello, Carolina. Una pregunta. Tell me. Eh, o sea, dijo que podíamos hacerlo con... Prepararlo con alguien eh, aparte. No sé si... Es... Yeah, it's okay. For just right now, we're going to create... I'm going to create the groups, okay? I'm going to create no, igual, the... al teacher con Chris y, y lo hice. <laughs> y same teacher, my, my classmate is Jonathan. Okay, so teacher, nosotros en nuestro caso lo hicimos con Liliana y con. Okay, okay. Mm, so let me see, what are we going to do then? Uh, I'm going to create the groups. Voy a crear los grupos siempre, okay. Y van a practicar con quienes, con quienes ah, les, les toque. ¿Ok? De esa manera vamos a enriquecer vocabulario. ¿okay? Porque es una nueva conversación que usted va a presentar y le van a presentar. ¿Ok? Entonces siempre vamos a ganar. Y al final, si ustedes han preparado, se coordinaron ya con, con una conversación en específico, pues nos la dicen. Pero ahorita vamos a crear los grupos de tres para que se coordinen con una conversación que trajeron. Ok. So here we go. Are you ready? Van a tener 5, 10, like 12, 12 minutes. Ok, for now on. So here we go.
Hey, Henry, I don't know if you have any problem. Jose Argueta. I don't know if you have any problem, uh, Henry, Jose, and, and Lenny. Well, <clears throat> what are you doing right now? I'm tapping a message on my computer. What about you? I am watching a movie on TV. Are you enjoying your work? Yes, I'm finding it quite interesting. What movie are you watching? I'm watching a comedy film. It's really funny. What kind of girl are you doing? I'm designing a new website. It's a challenging but exciting project. What's the name of the movie are you watching? I am watching The Big Love. It's a classic comedy. How long have you been working on the website? I have been working on it for about two weeks now. It's almost finished. I'm glad for you. I leave you to finish your project soon. Okay, I'll write to you later. Take care. See you later. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no. Uy, ¿qué tal? <ríe> eh, yo estoy yendo ahí quizás pueda o oh, ah. I go to watch TV, the movies. Yo voy a ver una película. Ah, pero como es con el presente continuo, uh, yo, pues yo aquí estoy... le podemos ver. Ay, Ajá, porque ahí les me preguntas a qué where? Mm. Where? Uh, yo cook. Are? Yo estoy cocinando con el mamá. You going? Yo estoy con su Ajá, yo. Ajá, you going? Ajá. To go. So. Where? Where are you going? Ajá. ¿Dónde irá? Where are you going to go? Vaya, ok, digamos que así. Y allá en Going to the Movie, ajá, yo estaré, yo estoy en. Estaremos yendo a ver a, a una movie. O puedes poner, Where are you going? ¿Dónde estarás tú yendo? Eh, after, after después, go. ajá. O sea, podría ser así, como. Porque tú, no sé. What? No sé si, si estaría como, where you, puede ser, where, dónde estarás tú yendo, okay. después, pues. bueno, ahorita déjame where decir, are you going eh. to go? así es la, Pero lo voy a buscar aquí, vamos a buscar mejor. I go to the movie. Yo estoy yendo a ver una película. Great, genial. I have good, que tengas un 
un buen tiempo, quiere decir, más. Ajá, que tengas un... Ajá, que la pases bien. Ah, claro. Where are Ok, you going? nos vemos. Where ok. Are you going to go? ¿A dónde vas a ir? Ah, where you, I wonder. Ah, where are you going okay. to go? Es como el presente. Ah, where, ajá, porque lleva el verbo to be, el presente, el verbo en ing y lleva to go, que es el verbo base forma. Ajá. Where okay. to go to go? I come to the movie. Vale, hoy veamos la mía, vamos a ver si se parece. Vale. Lo voy a compartir, vamos a ver. Vale. En audio. Ajá. Para quitarla, dejar de compartir, sí. ok. Sí. Vale, ahí está. Uy. What are you doing? Um, I'm eating pancakes and drinking juice of apple. Oh, that's cool. I love pan pancakes. Pancakes. Uy, no nos van a meter. Ok, entonces decimos esta, ¿no? Sí, bueno, usted la va a decir con Jonathan. Yo voy a decir la que yo había preparado. Bueno, no pero sé. entonces, el, entonces nos van a hacer, o sea, ¿qué es lo que vamos a decir entonces nosotros? Eh, usted, nosotros nada, yo creo que era solo para como, como para un repaso para cada persona. Ok, 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 ok. Uh -huh. okay. Ah, pues, un gusto, Jennifer. Gracias, igualmente. <ríe> ahí nos estamos viendo en algún momento dado ahí en el IML. Sí. <ríe> a ver si nos topamos por ahí un... Sí. Más de alguna vez. Mira, yo, soy, yo, yo no tengo mucha retentiva con las caritas. Si en dado caso pues me veo algo, por favor, saluda, me oye, me recuerda. Oye, <risa> por favor. Eso es todo, hablar en inglés. Sí. Todos. Ya. Yeah. Ok. 20 seconds. No sirve. Ya. Yeah. Okay. ¿Y vas a continuar en el segundo? Pues espero que sí, porque tengo una bebé de cinco meses y me cuesta un poquito, pero... Ay, sí. Bueno. Ok. Ok, I hope the activity was very significant and that you have like, uh, practiced the conversation very, very well. Now... I will ask people to participate according to the order. Okay. Let's see, I have Teacher. group number one. I think it's Liliana. Uh oh, Magdalena, I don't know if you want if you want to start with. Teacher, es, mi compañero solo estaba de oyente, el que me puso. Oh. Entonces no. Ajá, no sé si podré, yo estaba practicando con Crisia cuando, o sea, con ella hice la conversación con Cris. Y el con el que usted ahorita me puso estaba solo de oyente. Ah, ok. So, but I, I wonder if you are ready with Chris, to, ready to... Sí, lo podemos hacer. Ah, ok, so Chris y en Magdalena, so you are the ones that are going to start now. Go ahead. Ah. Eh, ¿Compartimos la conversación o? Sí. Y no sé, usted o yo. Vaya, permítame. Ahorita.
¿Sí sale? Sí. A ver. Adelante. Ok. Eh, good evening. Conversation present continua. Next, Magdalena Mejía y Crisi Jiménez. Hi, Crisi. How are you? Fine. And you? I'm very well. Do? Where are you going? I'm going to class. What are you studying? Uh, I'm studying the English language. Really? Why? Yes, my family will travel to New York in, in December. We're going to visit my family. It's great. What day is in New York? It's 10, Seria 41. And Magdalena, how are you studying? I am studying the English language. Oh, very good, Magdalena. Um, are you pay, paging in English classes? No, I do not. The classes are free. All right, Magdalena. And I, where are you living now? I am living in a house in San Salvador. Oh, that's good. Uh, we'll talk, uh, lady. See Goodbye, you, lady. Mag Goodbye, Magdalena. Magdalena. Okay, thank you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats. Okay, thank you very much. I did a great conversation. Okay, okay so we're going to listen to Carolina Reynosa, right? In company. Teacher, yo tuve el mismo problema. A mí me puso con un compañero que estaba como oyente. Después oh. me agregó a, a una compañera, pero ya no nos quedó tiempo de. O sea, de armar una entre ella y yo, porque yo ya tenía una con el compañero Henry, pero no sé si está aquí ya conectado. Aquí estoy, aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Sí, profe, este, igual a nosotros con el grupo que nos puso, que estaba Henry también, no, no logramos hacer nada. Ok, so, don't worry. Lo no, dejamos a media porque también Henry se anexó ya bien tarde. O sí. no sé cómo era, lo anexó usted ya bien tarde, no sé cómo, pero como que se sumó tarde. Lo dejamos a media y ya lo vamos, no dio el tiempo. Ah, uh, ok, so... Quizás, yo creo que quizás lo mejor, bueno, mi opinión sería que tal vez lo hiciéramos por el tiempo, ¿no? Con las personas que, con los compañeros que ya habíamos hecho la conversación. Ah, ok, so let us work that way. Ok. Porque igual tres, nosotros éramos tres y, y una compañera se salió, nosotros éramos dos, entonces. Ok, ok, so eh, let's go that way. So... En mi caso, Ajá. Perdón. En mi caso me, eh, me puso con Vanessa, no hay problema que yo pueda apoyarle a ella porque ella también no tenía conversación, estaba enferma, así que yo puedo apoyarle con la misma conversación que acabamos de hacer con Magdalena. Ok. Okay, so, well, I I think Chrissy is, you can start with with Vanessa, right? Okay, Chrissy, go ahead. I don't know, Carolina, you wanna say something? Yes. Uh -huh. Con Henry, si podemos hacer la conversación. Ah, uh, ok. Sure, you can. Okay, you can start now. Ok, Henry, ¿estás ahí? Sí. Sí. Voy yeah. a compartir la... La, la conversación. Sí. Eh... ¿Se mira? No. Yes, we can see the screen. Sí. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Hello. Hello, my name is Carolina. What's your name? Hello. Nice to meet you, Carolina. My name is Henry Escobar. Are we in the English class together? Yes, we are together with the teacher Morales. 
Are you working? Yes, I'm working. Uh, what do you work on? I'm working in a bookstore. Oh, interesting. Uh, what are you doing, Carolina? Right now, I'm just studying. That's great. Where are you from? I'm from La Paz. When you were born? I was born on May uh, 27th. How old are you? I'm 31 years old. Okay, who is with you right now? Oh, my children are with me. Uh, why are you asking me? Just to know, I think you are busy. Yes, I'm taking care of my kids. If you like, we'll talk later. Of course. Have a nice day, Caroline. Have a nice day, too. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent participation. Thank you very much. Thank for you for doing your best. Okay. Congratulations, Carolina, and also uh, Henry, because you um, perform a really nice conversation. And you took care of pronunciation, intonation, and everything we have been studying lately. That's the, the other point, right, about having this conversation. Okay. Another volunteer. More volunteers. Okay. Thank you, Ligia. Uh, Liliana y Maritza están por ahí, chicas. Yes. Yes. Mm. No sé si Liliana compartirá la conversación o solo comenzamos a, a decirla. Yes, I, I share the screen. Give me a second. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Bye. Hello, Maritza. Hi, Ligia. Hello, girls. How are you feeling today? I am feeling tired, but it's okay. Oh, really, Ligia? You need to take a break. Yes, but I am working. I'm so sorry for you, Ligia. Um, tell me, how, how about you, Maritza? What are you doing tonight? I'm going to visit my friend Elizabeth and Mickey Diner together. That's great, Marixa. Yes, I do. Doing an I nothing tomorrow. No, I am not. Ah, you Liliana, are you are you free? Yes, I'm free. Nice. Are you looking to take a course on the coffee? What me? Yes, it's a great idea. Idea. Yes, I like it. Is okay. Um, uh, for for them. Yes, it is. Yes, it's okay. Bye. Bye. See you. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, girls. Bye, chicas. Okay. okay. Very good. Thank you so much, people. You are doing a great job. Okay, I see Joanna Stephanie wants to participate. Okay, Sarah. Ready. Oh, Sarah is ready. Go ahead. Long time no no see Joanna. Nice. What are you doing this day? I'm learning to drive. I'm also tutoring a student. Oh, and I'm also taking a cooking class. You sound really bad. 
I am. How about you, Sara? Are you doing anything extra these days? I am studying Italian. Really? Italian? Why are you studying Italian? Well, I had an Italian boyfriend. I'm so happy for you. Would you like to go eat? Yeah, I love. We are walking. Right, idea. Great idea. Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Shuana, for doing your best effort. Okay, we're gonna listen to Catherine Li Iliana. Hi, good evening. Hi. My couple is Jorge. Jorge, all right. So I hope Jorge is ready. Yes. Um, sorry, wait a minute, please. T teacher. Hello, hello. Teacher, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, el sistema me sacó porque se me fue el internet, pero no sé si Jonathan ya pasó. Jonathan? I, I know. No, not okay. yet, uh, Roxana. He's waiting okay. for you. Yeah, okay. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm ready. Okay. Catherine and Jorge, right? Me? Yes. Excuse me, what's your name? My name is Jorge. And your name is? My name is Catherine Rivas. And what is your last name? My last name is Enriquez, with H at the beginning and C at the end. Nice to meet you, Jorge. Nice to meet you too, Catherine. And tell me, how are you? I'm fine. A little tired of the traffic in the city, but I'm fine. It's very good. And your day? How has it been? My day was quite exhausting because I got up quite early at 5 a.m. because I had to run some errands in my hometown, which is called the Peque. But despite that, it was super good because I made a lot of progress in my driving classes and then I went to work. What are you doing right now? I'm tapping the message on my computer. What about you? I am watching a movie on TV. Are you enjoying your work? Yes, I'm finding it quite interesting. What a movie are you watching? I am watching a comedy film. It's really funny. What kind of work are you doing? I'm designing a new website. It's a challenging but exciting project. What's the name of the movie you're watching? I am watching The Big Loud. It's a classic comedy. How long have you been working on website? I have been working on it for about two weeks now. It's almost finished. I'm glad for you. I leave you to finish the, your project soon. Okay, I'll write to you later. Take care, see you later. Awesome. Great job, great conversation. Okay, congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Now keep, I mean, way to go, people. Well, I have some other people who wants to part who want to participate. I can see Jonathan and Roxana, right? Hello, hello. 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 Uh, Jonathan, tu pones la, la imagen. Yes, yes. Okay. You watch, you watch. Ah. Uh, mm, okay, I'll see. Right now. Okay. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? Hello, Rosanna. I'm very good. How are you today? This day is very nice because I am studying music. Is your mom at home? No. She is in, she is in your work. Where is she working? She is working in a restaurant. What time does your mom arrive? It's a very past seven. What are you doing? I study last English class. Are you doing your homework? 
No, I no I'm no. I watch TV right now. And you? What are you doing? I am eating pancakes and drinking juice of apple. Oh, that's cool. I love pancakes. Well, see you. It was a pleasure talking to you, but I have to go. Oh, don't worry. See you. Bye. Bye, Jonathan. Bye. That's it. <laughs> That's it, teacher. Okay, well, I can notice that you have been practicing. Okay, for the conversation. Congratulations. Thank okay. You. No, Thank you, uh, Thank you, Jonathan. Well, uh, you, I was searching. I will search into Spanish for a while so that we um so that we can um see what's coming tomorrow. Para el día de mañana tenemos dos actividades que son super super importantes. ¿Quién me recuerda cuáles son? Uh, mañana y, y mañana eh, vamos a decir lo que hemos aprendido en estas eh, en este mes. Ok, excelente. Van a crear o van a buscar eh, información a ejercicios, lo que, algo que ustedes quieran crear para demostrarnos todo lo que han aprendido en el, en la, o en la mayoría de cosas que han aprendido acá en, en este mes. Eso es lo primero. Lo otro es en la plataforma. Recuérdense que ya estamos por cerrar nivel y es, si hay alguien que todavía no ha terminado las actividades pues los, los, los invito a que, la, que las terminen okay. estamos prácticamente al cierre uh, so we have la, tenemos la actividad eh, que, que asigné y también tenemos la, el examen final para hacer un repaso eso es para el día de mañana okay, así que los invito a que sigan esforzándose y dar lo mejor de ustedes. Mañana cerramos, Dios mediante, y ya luego pasa pues, al siguiente nivel. Espero que todos, todos eh, tengan presente eh, continuar con el curso. ¿okay? Continuar de tal manera que este, uh, logren terminar con sus objetivos, ¿verdad? Y yo imagino que si ustedes entraron a estos cursos es porque pretenden terminarlo y eso yo siempre lo voy a animar a que lo hagan. Ok. So, Ligia. Pichar una pregunta, cuando usted habla del examen final, ¿se refiere al de la plataforma o usted va a hacer uno así aparte? No, Ligia, cuando digo examen final es el que aparece en la, en la plataforma. Ah, bueno, si ya lo completamos, entonces no hay problema. Gracias. Ah, ok, muy bien. So I think we're going to stop right here. Creo que nos vamos a quedar por acá y mañana pues nos sorprenden como siempre porque en realidad let me see, Jessica. Jessica wants to say something. Sí, yo tenía una consulta como usted puede ver me cuesta un poquito la pronunciación. Ajá. En mi caso yo no seguiría con el siguiente nivel porque quisiera repasar un poco más porque me he quedado un poco perdida, pongámoslo así. Entonces, ¿podría retomar después el siguiente nivel? Fíjese que es, uh, esos movimientos nosotros sí realmente no, no los manejamos, ¿verdad? Porque si usted este, tiene la acreditación para moverse al siguiente nivel, aparecería registrada con el grupo en el siguiente nivel. ¿Ok? Ah. Entonces, yo lo que le sugiero... Es, bueno, al inicio, en, en uno de esos días yo les dije que todos tenemos ritmos diferentes de aprendizaje. Y yo les comentaba que en mi caso muy personal, yo aprendo lento. Ese es el teacher Enrique Morales. Aprendo lento, pero los que aprendemos lento sabemos que queremos aprender de la mejor manera. Aprendemos lento, pero aprendemos bien. Igual, los que tienen un ritmo no tan rápido y no tan lento, yo sé que también aprenden y lo hacen muy bien. Y los que aprenden súper rápido, pues ellos ya ni se diga, pero también hacen las cosas de manera genial. Lo he visto en las conversaciones, lo he visto en su participación en clase, o sea, lo he visto de diferentes maneras. El hecho de que, digamos, yo considere que mi pronunciación no está muy, 
o, o necesito practicar, yo les recomiendo que, uh, que pase al siguiente nivel y que siempre se mantenga practicando, ¿verdad? Y que usted misma vaya haciendo las valoraciones de cuánto avance está teniendo, ¿verdad? En, las, en, en los niveles, ¿ok? Para que no vaya a haber dificultad más adelante, sino que, por eso yo siempre les digo, este, ¿qué hay de nuevo ahora en inglés? ¿Qué aprendiste tú ahora en inglés? Esa es la primera pregunta con la que yo empiezo la clase, porque de esa manera, este, quiero que se lleven ese hábito de decir, bueno, hoy tengo que aprenderme algo nuevo, algo nuevo. No sabemos con qué otro compañero Ustedes van a trabajar en el siguiente nivel, pero eh, seguramente que también va a tener exigencias para ustedes, ¿verdad? Y quiero que, que por lo menos se lleven algunos hábitos de estudio para poder este, avanzar en los siguientes niveles. Bueno, me quedo con eso y creo que ya es hora de, de irnos a la camita. Bueno, good, good night. night. Gracias. Good night. Thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye.